Greetings folks, this is an exciting day. I have in my hand from Banggood a uh, Maytek F405 wing flight control board. Now what's so exciting about it? This is the first flight control board designed specifically for fixed wing from the ground up. We're all used to using uh, quad flight control boards, putting them on our fixed wing and uh, using INAV to get around the fact that they're designed for quads. Um, so far I have been using the Omnibus F4V2 uh, and the Air 3 F3 board. They're both very good, they work fine, but uh, they're designed for quads basically. And with these flight control boards uh, you need external power supply via a, a really good quality BEC uh, and you need to uh, power your servos externally, not through the board ideally, so you need power distribution. Uh, with the Air 3 you need an external uh, on-screen display, more crappy wiring to have to deal with. All of that rubbish is dealt with on the board with the Matek F405. Let's have a quick look at it. Oops. So in the packet we get uh, all these tiny little screws. Just watch out for them if you're opening the packet. We get three rails of pin headers to solder on and we get the board itself. It's a gorgeous looking little construction. It's a three layer board. Uh, the top and the bottom are really just protection and mounting, I suppose, so you can stick it uh, with double sided tape onto whatever surface you want and the top sort of give you, gives you a bit of a legend about all the different connections. Now some of the features that, of this amazing fixed wing flight control board doesn't come with any sort of manual, but you can get all this information from the uh, Matek website, and it's very thorough and very helpful. Okay, let's go through what we've got. So it has a built-in on-screen display, built-in barometer, micro SD uh, black box recording. It has six UARTs, so that's six spots that you can plug external things in, like uh, sensors and GPS and compass and all that sort of stuff one soft serial and two uh, I2C. Uh, you can connect two motors, or you can control two motors, and seven servos. That's the big thing. With these other quad-style flight control boards, you, you get four servos, and usually only two of them are powered through the board. Uh, the other two you have to provide your own power, but you, you sort of have to power them separately anyway. The servos can be powered directly from the board because we have, uh, what is it, four BECs or four specifically designed voltage regulators on the board for different purposes. So the BEC uh, powering the servos is 5 volts as default or you can change it to 6 volts or 7.2 volts if you want to want the extra power and speed of uh, high voltage servos. Uh, 5 amps continuous up to 6 amps, that's awesome, that's uh, better than most external BECs. Uh, it has a 9 volt BEC specifically for camera and video transmitter. So that's more extra wiring you don't have to worry about. And it has a 5 volt uh, 2 amp specific BEC for powering the board itself. It has a current sensor on board, uh, 104 amp, and can be powered from uh, 9 to 30 volts uh, if you wire in your flight battery there. It's already loaded with uh, iNav, so you don't have to flash it with new firmware straight out of the box like you do with the Omnibus. You can see the arrow there, so that's the front where the servos are connecting up. A uh, little USB connector there. Battery connects in here, so I'll solder on a uh, XT60 there. ESC connects in here to those two pads there and then goes on to the motor. Uh, we've got some indicator LEDs there, uh, DFU or the uh, boot button there if you ever need to put it into boot mode, not something I'll need to do. Uh, so let's go around this side. So we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 servo connectors here, all powered 5 volts on their own BSE, that's awesome. Uh, there must be a 7th servo connection somewhere hiding, I'm not too sure where it is. Uh, so now we have camera and ground and 9 volts up on this rail here. Uh, video transmitter, ground and 9 volts there. Uh, DA2 and CL2, I think that's uh, compass stuff there. Uh, three of the UART connections here, 1, 3 and 5. 
And around this side, LED buzzer, another UART connection there, S bus here, and a GPS will plug into one of these two, I think, probably the middle one. Something I can do straight away before I do any soldering at all, I can check it out in the iNav configurator. So I'll open it up and plug the board in. We get some lights here. Click connect, it's connected, and there we are. I reckon that's magic, I love seeing this. Just plug it in and it shows up. All right, if we have a closer look, look at the log there. On our version 1.9.1, .1 is preloaded. <clears throat> we need to calibrate the accelerometer. All right, let's do that now. Calibrate. One done, upside down. Step two done. You don't need to do these in the right order, but I'll do it just to demonstrate. Step three done. Step four done. Step five done. And step six, and accelerator calibration is finished. Excellent and should show now we've got uh, accelerometer, accelerometer calibrated in the um, pre-arming checks and it's showing up in the screen very nicely you can reset the z-axis offset to zero just so, so that it is now facing the same way on the screen as it is on the table should be already set up as uh, plane yeah there we go already set up as aeroplane we want to enable the motor and servo output, Re save and reboot. Now we want to set up the ports. So we've already got the serial receiver set up on UART 3. Uh, we want GPS on 4. GPS, there we go. Again, yeah, not too sure of the board rate. Uh, I thought it was 115-200, but uh, I'll check that. And that's all we need to do initially. Now I'll uh, solder up the connectors and connect up a receiver and continue on with the setup. It's going to pull it apart now so I can solder it all up. There's four little screws on the top here. And the bottom. So these standoffs are just held in by the little uh, friction fit in these sort of uh, silicon tubes. So we're all soldered up now. There's the battery, ESC, uh, servos, uh, that is camera and video transmitter. I've made that a four pin plug although there's only three pins just to differentiate because those uh, sort of ground and power are swapped around to a normal lead. GPS here, S bus here and that's pretty much all I need. And there we are, ready to fly.